Hey guys, this is Austin. I'm the intern in our care ministry at Northside Christian Church. Uh, today I get the opportunity to read some scripture with you guys and pray with you. I know that during this time we've all been experiencing a lot of isolation, so I just hope that opening up God's word through, with you uh, would bring encouragement and that praying with you guys would also be encouraging. So today I'm going to read from Ephesians chapter 3 verses uh, 16 through 21 and I'm going to give you guys a minute to open up your Bibles if you'd like to turn there. Uh, I just hope that this will be uplifting, uh, that it would encourage your hearts and that you would be able to meditate on this passage as you're going about your day. So starting verse 16, it says, I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit and your inner being so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you would be rooted and established in love, and may have power together with all the saints to grasp how wide and how long and how high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us, to him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and ever. Amen. Let's pray. God, I just I want to come before you right now and uh, I just want to lift up all who are watching this and even for those who aren't watching it. I just want to pray that God, out of your glorious riches, you would, God, strengthen all of us in this time of isolation, God, in this time where we're not actively participating in person in church. Would you give us the inner strength to continue to endure? And I just pray that, Christ, you would continue to dwell and help us in our hearts to grow more into your likeness. And that, Lord, in this time when we're alone, I pray that it would be a, a time that, that people would begin to really get established and rooted in your love. That they would be able to grasp how wide, how long, and how deep is the love of God. Knowing that the love of God even surpasses our own understanding. And that, Lord, they would be filled with the measure of all their fullness. I just pray all this, all this God, over the, the, the members of Northside. So that, Lord, they can just be a minister to others who don't attend Northside. And I just pray this in your name, Jesus. Amen. Well, guys, I hope that this was encouraging to you. Um, and I pray that you have a blessed day.